The Bank of England is pointing to a risk of a more persistent period of elevated unemployment. Yes, the Bank of England managed to hold its interest rate unchanged at 0.1%, and its bond purchase target unchanged at £745 billion as expected. But the Bank of England also said the committee does not intend to tighten monetary policy until there is clear evidence that significant process is indeed being made in eliminating spare capacity and achieving the 2% inflation target sustainability. Also, the minute mentioned recent domestic economic data have been a little stronger than the committee expected at the time of the August report, although given the risk, it is unclear how informative they are about how the economy will perform further out. The recent increases in COVID-19 cases in some parts of the world, including the United Kingdom, have the potential to weigh further on economic activity, albeit probably on a lesser scale than seen earlier in the year. As in the August report, there remains a risk of a more persistent period of elevated unemployment than in the central projection. Now regarding the FTSE 100 CFD, the chart's configuration is turning to bearish since the index has broken below an intraday bullish channel support in place since the September bottom as well as below the 20-hour moving average now trading on the downside for the first time since September 7th. In addition, the 14-hour relative strength index has, has broken below a key rising trend line and as a consequence, traders may consider short positions below a September top at 61.20 to target the 59.50 polarity area and even the September bottom at 57. 80. Only a push above 61.20 would lower the immediate corrective risk and favor a rebound towards the August high area at 6300. For City Index, I'm James Swinney.